Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a special request. There is a lot of confusion out there now that the new bit setter is out for the Shapoko about having tool changes during your cut with one G-code file. Now a lot of guys use VCarve Pro. The question is, can you use VCarve Pro and do tool changes with the bit setter? Well, the simple answer is yes, but you will have to add a post processor to your program file for that to work. So today we're gonna walk you through how to drop it into your program and then what it looks like while you're actually doing the cut. So stay tuned, stick around, let's see what we can do. First thing we need to do is go to Neil's GitHub page and download the post processor files. I've left the link down below. Go to that folder, extract your files, and copy the file that you want to use, whether it be inch or metric or both if you want both. Now you can open up VCarve Pro. You want to go under the file menu and open the application data folder. In this folder you're going to find two folders that say post P. First one says my post P and the second one is just post P. If you paste them into the second folder you're going to have a list of 30 or 40 or more post processors on your output section. If you post it into the My Post P, you'll only see the ones that you put in there. Now you can open up your project file, go over to the Toolpaths section, select All Toolpaths. You're going to click on the disk to export Toolpaths. Make sure the top box is clicked that says export all into one file and you want to make sure you select the tool change post processor. Click save, give it a name, put it in your G code file and hit save. Now we can open up carbide motion and connect to the machine. Go ahead and initialize the machine. Okay guys, we've connected to the machine and we're just running the initialization right now. Setter is going to take its initial reading here. All right, what I'm going to do now, since this is our first start, we're going to set our XYZ with our touch probe. Thank you. 
we're going to go ahead and put our clip on here. We're going to do our touch off. We're going to do XYZ with a 1 8 in now. Especially when I'm doing V carving of any kind of design, I'll go to the center of the workpiece and I'll check my Z height off of that. Not every board is perfect and straight. plus six in our rapid position and now I can go to millimeters and drop it down to zero okay that's zero and we're obviously still off of it so we'll take our trusty sticky sheet and we are going to drop it down till we touch It's pretty close right there. It's grabbing pretty good anymore. I'm gonna go into the wood. Now, I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but every time I use the touch probe, I'm usually about 0.5 millimeters off from my actual zero. So I've gotten into the habit of just checking this anyway. So we'll go ahead and set our Z at zero at this point. Is also the point where you can check your height of your dust boot depending on the height of your material. Mine is already set at three quarters so we're good there. So what we'll do now is we'll actually load the file that we're wanting to cut. So when we hit start job, it'll come up to the front. It'll tell us what tool number to install. So we're actually going to install our V bit. Our 45704. It tells us to install our bit and hit continue. So we'll continue. It'll come back to the center and tell us to turn on our spindle. Now before we do that, now we'll take our boot, put our boot on, put our 
goes on. And we're ready to cut. So we'll turn our spindle on and hit continue. Okay, now power by motion is telling you to turn off your spindle, which we did. So now we'll hit OK. It'll bring us back to the middle. Ask us to change our tool. Which we will, and it's telling us insert tool 46052. Okay, 
eight. I'll just uh, hit OK. I'll go over. Take his measurement for the second pool. Now we get a prop to start the spindle, but before we do that, we put our boot back on. Hose back on. And we'll start the spindle and hit OK. So we get the turn off spindle command. Turn it off. Hit continue. And it's going to lift up over the workspace and get out of your way. If you had another tool, it would bring it back over here, ask for a tool change, do the bit setter again, and go again. Uh, pretty simple, pretty set forward. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the tool change post processor. Again, this, this is actually part of a bigger project. I'll uh, upload that project later. But this was just a display of using the bit setter with VCAR Pro and uh, multi change, uh, multi bit tool change. So, hope you got something out of it. Let me know if you have any questions uh, in the comments below. Again, subscribe if this has helped you at all. Leave us a like and we'll see you in the next one.